following is a special presentation from ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Berman, and welcome to ESPN's NFL Football. Trust me, a lot of work has gone into and a lot of pleasure has gone into combining the best that ESPN and the NFL have to offer. So, without further delay, let's go straight to the game. Get ready. Thank you, Chris Berman, as we welcome everyone to the city by the bay. We are at Freecom Park. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. Ah, uh, yeah, Dan, I couldn't agree more. And I hope that scoreboard operator has a few extra light bulbs up there, because we may need them before this one's over. But Danny, we're looking at a couple of clubs that are up near the top in total offense, so this may turn into a good old-fashioned shooting match before we're through. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Garrison Hurst is one of those backs that just refuses to go down. He's got so much strength that he can get three, four, or more yards with someone on his back. He'll have a big game. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field it's for heads, the heads. coin toss. We'll see. Sebastian Janikowski. There's the signal, the and we're ready. It's time for 49er football. Janikowski kicks it off to begin the game.
Chris, and welcome everyone to the Windy City. We're in Chicago, Illinois, as we get set for this one. Dan Stevens here to call the action, alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. Absolutely, Dan. I'll tell you what, Bears fans are some of, if not the best fans in the NFL. This place can be snowy. This place can be windy. I mean, I've played here when the temperature is lower than the winning score at a golf tournament. But these fans support their Bears week after week. And, Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, I'm going to have to go with the guy Chris mentioned a moment ago. Torrey Holt is one of those receivers that you love to have on your team. I mean, this guy can catch anything. I think he's going to have a big game. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. Heads it in. Heads it in. Heads it in. We'll receive. Paul Edinger kicking off the, the ref Bears. gets the signal and it's we're set time for Bears football. Edinger boots the opening kickoff Edwards decides to take it out of the end zone Chris, and welcome everybody to Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. You got that right, my friend. You talk to either one of these coaches and you ask them what's going to be the most important factors of this ball game to a man. They both will tell you that it's penalties and turnovers. The team that can avoid making mistakes is going to win this ball game. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. 
Jamal Lewis, he's one of those backs that just refuses to go down. He's got so much strength that he can get three, four, or more yards with someone on his back. A He'll have a tail. big game. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's heads. Heads. Let's see. Matt Stover kicking the off the The ref gets the signal, and we're it's set. It's time for Bingo Football! Stover kicks it, and we are underway. Bennett decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks a tackle. Bang! Welcome everyone to Ralph Wilson Stadium here in Buffalo. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me as always is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. You got that right. And the fans here in upstate New York really expect this Buffalo team to be a good one. I mean, this is a franchise that made it to four straight Super Bowls not too long ago. And that proud tradition has not worn off yet. They're a handful for any team that comes in here. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Drew Bledsoe is one of those strong-arm quarterbacks that can make the kind of throws that can dismantle a defense. If he has a little time, we could see some big plays from him. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Heads it is. Proceed. Ryan Lindell. There's the signal, the and we're ready. It's time for Bills football. Lindell kicks it, and we are underway. 
Jacobs decides to take it out of the end zone. <laughs> Hammered down. Chris, from the foot of the Rockies, we welcome you to Invesco Field here at Mile High Stadium. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, it seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. No doubt about it, Dan, but anytime you come up to play in the Mile High Air here in Denver, you're at a disadvantage. A, because your body's not used to the lack of oxygen up here, and B, because the Broncos are seemingly always one of the best teams in the NFL. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Joe Horn is one of those receivers that you love to have on your team. I mean, this guy can catch anything. I think he's going to have Good a tail. big game. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. Tails of it. We'll receive. Jason Elam. The ref gets the signal, the and we're set. It's time for Bronco football. Elam boots the opening kickoff. The return.
Chris Berman from the shores of Lake Erie. We welcome you to Cleveland Brown Stadium here in Cleveland. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. Oh yeah, Dano, anytime you come into Cleveland to play the Browns, you think of one thing. Whoop, whoop, the dog pound. Say what you will about how these guys look, but they support their team, and this Browns team really feeds off the energy in this place. And Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but... Who's the one guy to watch? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Sean Alexander. He's one of those backs that just refuses to go down. He's got so much strength that he can get three, I'll four, or more yards with someone on his back. He'll have a big game. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Heads it is. Heads it is. We'll receive. Phil Dawson kicking There's off the Brown. signal, and we're ready. It's time for Browns football. Dawson kicks it off to begin the game. Williams decides to take it out of the end zone. Dodges a tackle. Hurdles. in Tampa, Florida. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. No doubt about it. These fans started filing into this place early for this one. They had the barbecues out there in the parking lot. The footballs were buzzing around overhead. I mean, this group is excited to see this one get underway and, well, so am I. And Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but Who's the one guy to watch? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Mike Allstott is not only a fullback that can block and do a power run here and there, but he can also make the catch out of the backfield. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the I field for the coin toss. It's heads. heads. We'll receive. Yeah. 
Jeff Reed kicking off the Raps gets the signal, and we're set. Time for Buccaneer football. Reed boots the opening kickoff. Stevens decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks. And Chris, we are in the Valley of the Sun here in Tempe, Arizona. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. Absolutely, Dan. And well, in football, much as in life, preparation is the key. Both of these coaching staffs have been going over game film all week. But more often than not, the team that can best spot the weakness in their opponent is going to be the team that wins the ball game. Simple, but true. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Aaron Glenn is a cornerback that can cover just about anybody. Even with the speed and size of receivers Tails. getting more and more impressive, here's a guy that can knock them down to size. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Tails of it. So we'll receive. Bill Gramatica. There's the signal, Cardinal. and we're ready. It's time for Cardinal football. Gramatica kicks it, and we are underway. Davis catches it back at the one. Breaks free.
All right then, Chris Berman, we come to you from the site of Super Bowl 37, Qualcomm Stadium here in San Diego. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. I couldn't agree more, Dan. The Chargers are one of those teams that likes to beat you on the ground. Anytime you come into their house, they expect to control the line of scrimmage. So, if you ask me, the team that controls it in this one wins the game. Simple as that. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Javon Curse can stop Heads. the run with the best of them, and that's going to be the difference here. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. It's tails. Let's see. Joe Nedney kicking off for the The ref Titans. gets the signal and it's we're set. Charger football. Nedney kicks it off to begin the game. Dwight decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the Thank you, Chris, and welcome everyone to Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. I couldn't agree more, Dan, and just have a look around this place. These fans are all wearing their red Chief colors. I tell you, the two of us have done games in every stadium in the league since we were paired up five years ago. And this has got to be the loudest stadium for an opposing team to play in. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I can't agree more with Chris on this one. Randy Moss is one of those receivers that you love to have on your team. I mean, this guy can catch anything. I think he's going to have a big game. And as the officials Good and day. team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. It's heads. Let's we'll see. What? Hayden Epstein kicking off. There's the, the signal, and we're it's ready. It's time for Chiefs football. 
Four. Epstein kicks it off to begin the game. Blaylock fields it all the way back at the seven. Breaks three. Chris and welcome everybody inside the RCA Dome here in Indianapolis. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. Absolutely, Dan. And you figure that we're going to know a lot about this game early on in the first quarter. I think if either of these teams comes out flat and falls behind early by a touchdown or two, they could be in for a long day on the field. We'll see how things play out here. And Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, I'm going to have to go with the guy Chris mentioned a moment ago. Andre Carter can stop the run with the best of them, and that's going to be the difference here. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Heads it is. We'll receive. Mike Vanderdeck kicking the ref off gets the, the signal and we're set. It's time for Colts football. Vanderjat boots the opening kickoff. Williams catches it back at the two.
Boomer, we are in the Big D. Texas Stadium here in Irving, Texas. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. You got that right, Dan. And maybe this is just the old lineman in me talking, but when you get two teams like this together, a lot of the emphasis has to be on controlling the point of attack. Tell you what, the team that controls the line of scrimmage wins the ball game. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Brian Erlacher is a linebacker that can cover the speediest of receivers. Damn. I think that will be the difference today. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's heads. heads. We'll receive. Paul Edinger kicking There's off the, the signal, yeah. and we're ready. It's time for Cowboy football. Edinger kicks it, and we are underway. Kaysen decides to take it out of the end zone. Berman and welcome everyone to Pro Player Stadium here in Miami, Florida. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. Absolutely, Dan. And anytime this Dolphin team takes the field here in South Florida, you can count on at least one thing happening. They will throw a swarming defense at you. It's been that way from the Super Bowl teams of the 70s through the killer bees of the 80s and all the way up until today. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I can't agree more with Chris on this one. Jay Fiedler is one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the NFL. His laser scope sighting can get balls into places that seem impossible to squeeze a ball through. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's tails. Let's see.
New record. Kick the ref gets the signal, and we're set. It's time for Dolphin football. Rackers kicks it off to begin the game. Thank you, Chris Berman. And there's a good look inside the terrific new Lincoln Financial Field here in Philadelphia. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, it looks like we've got a good one in store for us. Absolutely, Dan. I'll tell you what. I've been looking forward to this one all week. I mean, you and I met with both coaches before the game, and these guys were ready to go. I think. Both of these clubs believe they're going to win this game. It'll be interesting to see which one does. And, Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Drew Bledsoe is one of the best pocket passers in the league. If he gets comfortable back in the pocket, he could really cause some damage. Tails. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. It's heads. heads. Oh, we'll see. Bill. Ryan Lindell. There's the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Eagle football. Lindell kicks it, and we are underway. Westbrook decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks a tackle. Tackle at the 27.
All right, thank you, Chris, and welcome everyone to the Georgia Dome here in Atlanta. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. Absolutely, Dan. I've been watching these guys all week. Let me tell you, they are ready to get it on. Their effort during practice was top-notch. Their focus during drills was up there. And here's the big thing. The intensity was there. This is going to be one heck of a game. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, I'm going to have to go with the guy Chris mentioned a moment ago. Trevor Price, maybe one of the best pass rushers in the league, and you have to believe that he's going to cause some okay, havoc yes. down in the trenches. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's tails. We'll receive. Jason Elam kicking There's off the, the signal, Bronco. and we're ready. It's time for Falcon football. Elam boots the opening kickoff. Welcome everybody to Giant Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me as always is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. Couldn't agree more, Dan. And anytime you get both New York football teams on the same field, you know you're in for a great football game. I mean, if you grow up in metropolitan New York, you're either a Jets fan or you're a Giants fan, period. The fans are really going to be into this one. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Michael Strahan can stop the run with what the best said. of them, and that's going to be the difference here. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Heads it is. We'll receive.
Mike Hollis kicking the ref off gets the, the signal, and we're set. It's time for Giants football. Hollis kicks it off to begin the game. Johnson decides to take it out of the end zone. Welcome everyone to Giant Stadium here in New Jersey. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. You got that right, Dan. And anytime you come here to the Meadowlands to play the Jets, you think about one thing. Finding ways to stop the Jets' passing attack. This is a club that lives up to their name as a high-flying aerial attack so stopping them through the air is going to be key in this one. And Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, I can't agree more with Chris on this one. Michael Strahan, maybe one of the best pass rushers in the league, and you have to believe that he's going to cause some havoc down in the trenches. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's tails. Let's see. Mike Hollis Mike Hollis kicking off the ref the gets the signal, and we're it's set. Time for Jets football. Hollis boots the opening kickoff. Johnson fields it all the way back at the three.
your way. Thank you, Chris Berman, and welcome everyone to All Tell Stadium here in Jacksonville, Florida. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. You got that right, Dan. Both of these clubs really need to get things done on the defensive side of the ball. There's an old saying in football, but it's been used in just about every other sport as well. Defense wins championships. No truer words have ever been spoken. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Derek Brooks is one of the better pursuing good linebackers tail. in the league. Boy, he hits hard. Watch him leave a few bruises in this one. Thank you, Peter. Let's get down to the field for the coin toss. It's heads. heads. We'll receive. Look. Martin Gramatica. There's the signal, the and we're ready. It's time for Jaguar football. Gramatica kicks it, and we are underway. Lewis decides to take it out of the end zone. Great. Inside beautiful new Ford Field here in Detroit, Michigan. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. Absolutely, Dan. And it'll be interesting to see how big of a role the crowd plays in this game. You know, it may sound unimportant, but if you can come into an opponent's den and take the crowd out of the game early, it can really be an advantage for your club. We'll see what happens. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Robert Porsche can stop the run with the best of them, and that's going to be the heads. difference here. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Proceed. Jason Henson kicking There's off the, the signal, line. and we're ready. It's time for Lions football. Henson kicks it, and we are underway. 
Casper catches it back at the one. Chris, thank you so much, and welcome everybody to legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, it seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. You bet, Dan. And there may not be a bigger home field advantage in the NFL than when the Packers play here in Lambeau. I mean, as an opposing player, you got to deal with the cold, the ghosts to the great Packer teams of the past, and these fans, not to mention the Packers themselves. And Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Ladanian Tomlinson is one of those backs that just refuses to go down. I choose He's tail. got so much strength that he can get three, four, or more yards with someone on his back. He'll have a big game. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's heads. It's heads. Oh, we'll see. Steve Christie kicking off for the charge. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Packer football. Christie boots the opening kickoff. Fisher fields it all the way back at the one. Welcome everyone to Tobacco Road. 
Erickson Stadium here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. Absolutely, Dan, and the fans down here in Charlotte are hungry for this Panther team to have success. Remember they advanced all the way to the championship game in just their second season? And these fans have remained pretty loyal ever since. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Tony Gonzalez is one of those tight ends that you need to cover like a receiver. He has such good hands and good moves Heads. that he's a threat on every down. Watch for him to make some big plays here. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Heads it is. Heads it is. We'll receive. Todd Sauerbrunn. The ref Kicking gets the signal, the and we're set. It's time for Panther football. Sauerbrunn kicks it off to begin the game. Paul fields it all the way back at the five. Brought down at the, the 32. Dante Hall got a very respectable return off that nice kick. Chris, we're about 30 miles southwest of Boston at beautiful Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. Absolutely, Dan. The only thing that folks here in New England love more than this new stadium is their Patriots. I mean, this franchise has had plenty of ups and downs in its day and it's been up recently, but these fans have always supported this club. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Peyton Manning is one of those strong-arm quarterbacks that can make the kind of throws that can dismantle a defense. If he has a little time, we could see some big plays from him. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Tails of it. Receive. Yeah. 
ready. Adam Vinatieri. There's the signal, the and we're ready. It's time for Patriot football. Vinatieri boots the opening kickoff. Rhodes decides to take it out of the end zone. Back down at... And here we are just a few miles from beautiful Jack London Square, Oakland, California. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, it seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. Yes, sir, Dan. This is the type of game where conditioning could become a factor. Both of these teams like to get up and down the field and both keep moving all game long. Don't walk away from this one, or you'll miss out on something big. And, Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Charlie Garner is one of those elusive backs that can frustrate, aggravate, and totally discombobulate a defense. Keep an eye on him. And as ahead. the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. It's tails. Yeah, tails. Oh, we'll see. Cowboys. Billy Cundick kicking off for the, the ref Cowboys. gets the signal and it's we're time set. For Raider football. Cundiff kicks it off to begin the game. Running Jim.
Welcome, everyone, to our nation's heartland. We're at the Edward Jones Dome here in St. Louis. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. You got that right. And when you think about playing the Rams here in St. Louis, you might think more about a track meet than you do a football game. This is a team that likes to air it out down there, so your defense better be up to the task if you want to come away with a victory here. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Kurt Warner is one of those strong-arm quarterbacks that can make the kind of throws that can dismantle a defense. Tail. If he has a little time, we could see some big plays from him. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's heads. heads. We'll receive. Olindo Mare. There's the, the signal, ball. and we're ready. It's time for Rams football. Mare kicks it, and we are underway. Edwards catches it back at the three. Breaks free. Welcome everyone to the newly named M&T Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. Absolutely, Dan. I'll tell you what. Baltimore is a great football city. These fans in Maryland have really taken to the Ravens in their first few short years of existence. I think any time you have to come in here to play, you're in for a real fight. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. James Thrash is one of those receivers that you love to have on your team. I mean, this guy can catch anything. I think he's going to have a big it's... game. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. It's Tails. It's tails. Oh, we'll see. David Akers kicking off the ref the gets the signal and we're set. Time for Raven football. 
Akers kicks it off to begin the game. Right fool decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks free. Tackled at the 27. Thank you very much, Chris Berman. Just outside our nation's capital, we're here in Raljan, Maryland. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. No doubt about it, Dan. Anytime you come up here to play the Skins, you can count on meeting one of the best fan bases in all of football. I mean, you got to be on, what is it, like a 30-year waiting list for season tickets? That's just incredible. These folks love their football. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Michael Vick is one of those guys that can kill you with his scrambling ability. If he gets out of the pocket on this one, oh, watch out, baby. And as the officials hit. and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. It's tails. Let's see. Jay Feely kicking off for the There's Falcons. the signal, and we're it's ready. It's time for Redskins football. Feely boots the opening kickoff. Jacobs catches it back at the three. Jukes again.
you, Chris, and welcome y'all to the Big Easy. We are here in New Orleans. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. I agree, Dan. This will sound funny, but it's true. Anytime you come to New Orleans to play the Saints, you got to focus on football. I mean, it's very easy with the feeds and the Bourbon Street and the festive atmosphere to lose sight of the fact that you've got a game to play. And, Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Deuce McAllister is one of those backs that just refuses to go down. He's got so much strength that he can get three, four, or more yards it. with someone on his back. He'll have a big game. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Tails of it. We'll receive. John Carney kicking off. There's the, the Saints. signal, and we're ready. It's time for Saints football. Carney kicks it, and we are underway. Lewis fields it all the way back at the four. Chris and greetings everyone from the Pacific Northwest Seattle Stadium here in Seattle, Washington. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play -play. with me as always is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. You got that right, Dan. The fans here in Seattle would like nothing more than to see this club really take wing, if you will. They've been starved for a championship up here and with this beautiful new stadium and an improving club, they're certainly not a club to be taken lightly. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Robert Porsche can stop the run with the best of them, and that's going to be the difference here. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. Tails of it. We'll receive. Number three, Number three, kicking the off the The ref gets the signal, and we're it's set. time for Seahawk football. Brown kicks it, and we are underway. 
Number 18 catches it back at the eight. Thank you, Chris, and welcome everyone to Steel Town. Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. I couldn't agree more, Dan, and anytime you set foot in the city of Pittsburgh, you can't help but think of all the great Steeler teams that have called this city home. I mean, this town understands winning. And this Steeler bunch understands it as well, so they're always tough to beat here. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Plaxico Burris is one of those receivers that you love to have on your team. I mean, this guy can catch anything. I think he's going to have Tailed. a big game. And as the officials and team captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. It's heads. Heads. Let's see. Ryan Longwell kicking There's off the, the signal, back. and we're ready. It's time for Steeler football. Longwell boots the opening kickoff.
Thank you, Chris Berman, and welcome everyone to beautiful new Reliance Stadium here in Houston. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter seems to be like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. Absolutely, Dan. I'll tell you what, I've been looking forward to this one all week. I mean, you and I met with both coaches before the game, and these guys were ready to go. I think. Both of these clubs believe they're going to win this game. It'll be interesting to see which one does. And, Peter, we've got some big names to keep an eye on here, but who's the one guy to watch? Well, I can't agree more with Chris on this one. Steven Davis is one of those backs that just refuses to go down. He's got so much strength that he can get three, four, or more yards with someone on his back. He'll have a big game. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's tails. tails. We'll see. Todd Sauerbrunn. The ref gets the, the signal, and we're set. It's time for kicks and football. Sauerbrunn kicks it off to begin the game. Davis fields it all the way back at the three. Breaks a tackle. Fights off a tackle. Chris, as we welcome everyone to Music City, we are here in Nashville, Tennessee. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. No doubt about it, Dan. And the fans here in the Music City have really embraced this Titan club since they moved here a few years back. I mean, this place has really developed into one of the toughest places in the NFL to go and steal one on the road. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I'm going to have to go with the guy Chris mentioned a moment ago. Javon Kurse can stop the run with the best of them, and that's going to be the difference here. And as the officials and Those team tails. captains move to the center of the field, let's go down for the toss of the coin. Tails of it. We'll receive. Titan. Joe Nedney kicking off. There's the, the signal, break. and we're ready. It's time for Titans football. Nedney kicks it off to begin the game.
Williams here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. You've got that right, Dan. And you know, traditionally, the Vikings clubs they've had up here in Minneapolis have been about one thing, offense. Say what you will about the Purple People Eaters, but this club loves to get up and down the field. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Kevin Johnson is going to burn up the field here, so you better not blink. I think he's going to be the difference here, and I can easily see him breaking a few plays Heads. wide open. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Heads it is. We'll receive. Hayden Epstein kicking There's off the, the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Viking football. Epstein kicks it off to begin the game. Davis decides to take it out of the end zone. Hurdles and gets free. Welcome to NFL Countdown. From the Bristol Studios, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up next, it's the NFC All-Stars aiming for a victory. I can't wait for the fireworks to start as their phenomenal offense takes center stage. Standing in their way, we've got the AFC All-Stars also looking for a win. Their key, a great group of receivers. My prediction, the NFC All-Stars because of this man. Future Hall of Famer Brett Favre. There aren't too many like him before or since. NFC All-Stars, AFC All-Stars, straight ahead. All right, Chris, as we say aloha from the island of Oahu, we're at Aloha Stadium here in Honolulu. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, it seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. You got that right, Dan. And we're looking at a couple of teams that love to get after you defensively. I mean, both of these teams are really built around their D, and both allow their D to set the tone for the ball game. We're going to see some big stops in this game today. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. I'll try Joey heads. Porter is one of the better pursuing linebackers in the league. Boy, he hits hard. Watch him leave a few bruises in this one. Thank you, Peter. Let's get down to the field for the coin toss. It's tails. Let's see. Oh! 
David Akers David Aker. kicking off. There's the, the signal, All-Star. and we're ready. It's time for AFC All Stars football. Akers boots the opening kickoff. Hall decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks free. All right, thank you, Chris, and welcome everyone to the stadium. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. Well, Peter, it seems to me like we're looking at a pretty good matchup in this one. You got that right, Dan. And we're looking at a couple of teams that love to get after you defensively. I mean, both of these teams are really built around their D, and both allow their D to set the tone for the ball game. We're going to see some big stops in this game today. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Tony Gonzalez It's one of those tight ends that you need to cover like a receiver. He has such good hands and good moves that he's a threat on every down. Yes. Watch for him to make some big plays here. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Heads it is. We'll receive. Morton Anderson, Anderson. kicking the off the home team. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. It's time for football! Anderson kicks it, and we are underway. Lewis catches it back at the two. Chris and welcome everyone to the stadium. Dan Stevens here to call the play-by-play. -play. With me as always is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, well, we ought to be in store for a pretty good football game here. Absolutely, Dan. The only thing that folks here in New England love more than this new stadium is their Patriots. I mean, this franchise has had plenty of ups and downs in its day and it's been up recently. 
but these fans have always supported this club. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Bobby Taylor is one of the fastest corners in the league. And with that speed comes the ability to shut down the passing game or, heck, even take a few the other way. He's going to be key Damn. here. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Tails it is. Proceed. Adam the ref gets the signal the and we're set. It's time for Patriot football. Vinatieri boots the opening kickoff. Millens decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks a tackle. Stop. It. 